hello everyone you're welcome back to my channel my name is Sinka so in today's class we're going to be making this beautiful and elegant bubble dress so we are going to be making use of Ankara fabric to make this you need four yards to make the style but you know African print comes in six yards so this is six yards so you're also going to be needing your velvet ribbon or velvet bias you need two inches width so but I couldn't get the two inches width so I'm making use of this one inch width so I'm going to be doubling it like this on the fabric to make it two inches in width all right so I got four yards of this then also you'll be needing your bias to finish the wing and also the neckline you'll also be needing a machine thread and you're also going to be needing hemming gum to attach the ribbon to it so that it can be easy for you to sew or you can pin if you like all right then you will also need a machine zipper so, so let's get into it for this time you need to measure from your shoulder down to where you want the wing to end for in my own case i'm going to be making use of 32 inches all right then you need your center back to your desired sleeve length you need your bust circumference measurement waist circumference measurement and also your hip circumference measurement you need your shoulder to nipple point shoulder to waistline and shoulder to where you want the the wing to start from so i'm going to be cutting out the fabric so at first i'm going to be cutting out my gown length my total gown length is 60 inches, so I'm going to cut 60 inches out with extra inches for my allowance. So I'm going to be cutting 60 plus extra 3 inches for my allowance. And you are going to be needing two of that. So you're going to cut out 60 inches twice with your extra inches for the allowance. So I've cut that out. One is going to be for the front and the other one is going to be for the back. The other one is going to be for the back. So this is my length plus extra three inches. This is also my gown length with extra three inches. So I've cut out twice my length measurement with my same allowance. So I'm going to fold it on the table. I'm going to fold the back on the table first. I'll fold the back into two like this but the back is not going to be on fold so i'm going to be slitting it i'm going to be slitting the center back that is open this part here is open so mm -hmm. measure one inch like this and you roll it all the way down that's going to be the zip allowance the back is going to be having zipper then you place the front on top of it the front is also folded into two you place the front on top of it let the front touch the zip allowance line like this the line that you rule let the center front be on top of that line that you rule and don't forget the center front is going to be on fold make sure your fabric is folded on the right side roll your guideline so that you can have a starting point for all your vertical measurements and I'll measure down my nipple point. My nipple point is 10.5. My waist length. And my hip line. Then the length where I want the, the wing to start from. Which is 32. This is 32. Then I will extend all the lines. This is my nipple point, this is my waist length, this is my hip line, and then this is 32 inches length, where I want the wing to start from, all right? Then, and of course, I've measured down the length of my gown, which is, which is 60 inches, then my seam allowance. So the next thing you're going to do now, of starting from here, so this is the guideline. On this guideline, you're going to be inputting the length that you want for the booboo, -boo, your center back to your desired sleeve length. In my own case, I want it to be 22 inches. I'm going to be using the total width I can get from this Ankara, which is here. 
which is here. Then I'll come to my nipple point line. I will input my bust circumference measurement divided by 4. My bust circumference measurement is 40 divided by 4. That will be 10. So I'm going to be adding half inch east to it because it's a booboo dress. Then I'll come to the waistline. I'll come to the waistline. I will input my waist circumference measurements divided by 4. My waist circumference is 32 divided by 4. That will be 8. Then with half inch east. Then I'll come to the hip line. I will input my hip circumference measurements divided by 4 plus half inch east. Alright. Then I'll connect these points together. Connect it together like this. Then you're going to come to your, you're, you're going to come to that point that we mark, that 32 inches point that we want the wing to start from. So on that line, you're going to input your hip circumference measurements divided by 4, which is 10.5, with my ease of half inch, then with same allowance of 1 inch, you can do 2 inches depend on the allowance you want all right so because we are going to be joining the side so at this 32 inches length you input your hip circumference measurement divided by four plus half inch is and one inch seam allowance all right so i will now go to the m line i'm going to measure whatever i have here here total 10 i have here is 12 and a half i'm going to subtract one inch from it and i'm going to put it at the m line so that's going to be 11 and a half can you see? Then from this point, I'm going to connect it to the measurement I have at the hemline. So can you see? This is how it is. So from your hip line now, you are going to connect it to this point. Like this. Can you see? So at this 32 inches length, we have our hip circumference measurement divided by 4 with half inch ease and then with 1 inch seam allowance. So from this your seam allowance, you are going to be connecting it. Just use your hand and cough it the way I'm showing you here and blend it till you get to your nipple point line here. This is our nipple point line here. So just create a gradual curve the way I'm showing you like this. Can you see? With a gradual curve, connect it the way I'm showing you here to the nipple point line. To the nipple point line. And then you blend everything up this way. Alright, so I'm going to come back to the shoulder line. I'm going to input, starting from the folded edge here, you measure 3 inches this way. And then you come to the tip of the shoulder here. You come down by one and a half inch. Come down by one and a half inch. And then you are going to come down by one and a half inch. And then you are going to connect it together this way. Don't forget to add half inch upward for your shoulder seam allowance. This way. Can you see? So next thing is to input your neckline. So starting from the folded edge, I'm going to be measuring four and a half for my neck four and a half then th my neck depth i'm going to be using i'm going to be using four inches for my neck depth then i'm going to connect the points together this way we are cutting both the front neckline and the back neckline together both of them are going to be the same so the next thing you are going to do now before you cut this out you come to the waistline my waistline so this is my waistline here. At this point, at the back, you can see that we leave one inch zip allowance here. You go in by half inch. Go in by half inch. And then you blend it back up. And then you blend it back to the hip line. So the next thing you have to do now is to cut it out. So I'll first cut out this shape that we have at the zip allowance. 
this is just to prevent the zip from bulging at the back so this is it then i'm going to cut out the neckline also cut out the shoulder So this is it, we are done cutting and this is how it looks. So don't forget to notch your zip allowance and also you notch where you want your slit to stop so that by the time you are joining you know where to stop. I, I would love to have 22 inches length for my slit so starting from the hemline I will measure, measure 22 inches upward and I will notch it. That's going to be the position for my slit. So you can take the back out now. You're done with the back. So the next thing now is for you to transfer this shock to the other side of the front. This is the front. So you transfer your shocking, this shock that you have here, transfer it to this other side. So you're going to push some pins here. Push some pins. Then you're going to turn the fabric you're going to turn the fabric this way, then you're going to connect your pins together. Just connect it together this way. So that by the time you open it, you'll be able to see because it's a booboo -boo dress. So if you open it, this is how it looks. So this is how it looks. Can you see? This is how it looks. Next thing I'm going to do now is to attach this to the center front. I'm going to be attaching this to the center front. And like I said, I'm going to be doubling it. You put some hemming gum. Just put hemming gum here, this way, the way I'm showing you. Just put hemming gum. Make sure it's at the center. Make sure it's at the center of the dress. This way. Then you're going to place this velvet ribbon on top of it. Because this uh, iron used to damage this velvet ribbon, so make sure you place something on top of it before you place your iron on it. Then you iron it down, down. So can you see? We are done attaching it. So you take to the sewing machine now and you stitch it down. So I'm going to work on the back first. This is the back. And I've placed the two back together. Right side to right side. So I'll measure down where I want my zipper to stop. And from that point, I'm going to stitch down with one inch till I get to where I want my slit to start from. You know, we already know it, So I'll do that. I want my slit to start from this point. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to finish the slit. So just fold, starting from the hemline, you fold half inch in and then you fold half inch again and then you're going to stitch. You sew across to the other side. This way. So the next thing you're going to do is to attach your zipper. 
You're going to be attaching your zipper. You follow your zip allowance and attach your zip. So I'm done attaching the zipper. So I'll keep the back aside and then work on the front. So this is the front. I'm going to stitch down this velvet ribbon. So I've stitched this velvet ribbon down. And this is the back. You can see I've fixed my zipper. And you can see I finished my slits nicely here also. This is the slit. You can see I finished the slit. So the next thing you have to do now is to place front and back together. Right side to right side. Right side to right side and then you're going to join together on the shoulder. After that you finish the neckline with your bias. I'm going to join the shoulders together now. Don't forget to place it, place front and back together, right side to right side, and then you're going to join the shoulder with half inch seam allowance. I've joined the shoulders together. You can see I've joined the shoulder together, and you can see my neckline here. This is my neckline. I'm going to be finishing the neckline with my bias strip. You're going to place your bias on the right side. And then you're going to stitch around the neckline. When you're done, you turn to the wrong side and top stitch. And you're also going to be finishing the wing part. You can see the wing starts from. You can see the wing. The wing starts from here. So you finish the wing area here with your bias. Stitch it to the right side. You, stitch, you start by stitching the bias to the wing. When you are done, you turn it to the wrong side and then you are going to top stitch. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I will do that. Then you turn it to the wrong side and then you are going to top stitch the bias. So I'm done with the neckline. So starting from this corner, I'm going to place my bias and I'll stitch it all around. This is the right side. So place your bias on it and then you're going to stitch round the wing. When you're done, turn the bias to the wrong side and top stitch. So I'm done attaching bias to the sleeve area the wing area and also the neckline so the next thing now is to close the side so starting from you can see where the wing start from this is where the wing start from come up a little bit maybe like around two inches a little bit just come up like two inches upward a bit this way so from here you join and then when you get back to the side you join with one inch you know we had it one inch for our allowance so you're going to join with that one inch all the way down you also do the same thing here from where the wing starts from go up like about two inches and then from there you join then join the side with one inch all the way down to the hem of the dress and when you're done you're going to be aiming the bottom part of your dress also
so i'm done closing the side the next thing i'm going to do now is to hem the bottom part of my dress so you're going to be hemming it with the number of allowance that you had it So you're going to be notching this corner here. Do the same thing to the other side. Cut close to your seam, but do not cut your seam. So the next thing now is to turn it to the right side. So the next thing you're going to be doing now is to close this side. You just follow your short line and close the side. So just follow your short line and close the side. You do the same thing to this other side. 